understand why. You must try to remember me and your true self as well. You will birth a god and build an eternal paradise. I feel demise in my energy. I know you motherfuckers wanna get rid of me. I take a shot in my Hennessy as I say another prayer for my enemies. I look at the bodies and see no regrets Cause my enemy still ain't put an enemy yet The bringer of death has risen so be cautious with steps Cause lo and behold, yes I am him in the flesh When you start rapping like that Hit his area with 51 Everything in the butterflies Go get your man And I feel like butterfly gon' recap this So all y'all wanna know what happened I'ma tell you what happened He got smoked You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. I hope all is well on this Friday. Salute to Charlie Clips. I seen you. I'm going to talk about that right now. Salute to all the media, compromised and uncompromised. Shout out to the ones that fuck with us. Shout out to the ones that don't fuck with us. Shout out to the ones that go out their way to talk crazy about us. But it's all good, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we do the preview. See, the one good thing about what we do around here is uh, when we cut this camera on, myself or Showtime SP, we know, we know what it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? We don't have to worry about whether the niggas is gonna watch us. We don't have to worry about none of that because our fans and our supporters rock with us so salute to all the bitch ass niggas out there that hate us and want to talk crazy about us we're never going to talk about any of you first of all we're never going to talk about y'all we don't care about what you niggas got going on y'all do y'all we're going to do us now speaking of somebody that's doing them charlie clips um i'm glad that this is happening right now you made a video yesterday you dropped it you were talking about you're going to stop freestyle that I you know they say that I, <laughs> I didn't really write for Calico. I didn't really write for Danny Myers. And I didn't really write for Jazz the Rapper. <laughs> but all those battles, I won, or it's 2-1 either way. Hold on a minute, player. But I am here to say today, that I'm retiring freestyling since they act like they don't want to hear it no more. He got away with it, but he ain't get away with it. Giving up the belt of freestyling, and I'm just gonna fuck my next opponent up. The GOAT is back. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Because people, because quite frankly, people don't want to hear it anymore. No, no, no. It ain't people. It ain't people. It's a lot of us fans, media, that paid to watch you versus Jazz the Rapper put that bullshit up. And we reacted the way we did. It was a lot of blogs. It was a lot of people talking about it. And I knew it would get back to you. And it got back to you. Because you playing around. You was playing with the re-up. See, the thing is, right, we all fans of Charlie Clips. And one way or another, I rock with Charlie Clips. I know he's going to watch this. He watches a lot of this stuff. He hears about it. But hard work beats talent when talent don't work hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you standing in front of a lot of artists who are just outworking you. And the thing is, the battlers and the fans... They deserve that. They don't deserve to have you coming up there like, oh, y'all not fucking with that? All right, hold on, let me try this. Like, you, this is not wilding out. Like, the URL, RBE, these leagues that you battling on, they not wilding out. You can't just go up on stage freestyle. We know we've been watching you so long. I already told you, one of my first blogs that did six, seven, eight, nine thousand views was, is Charlie Clips killing battle rap? <laughs> Salute to all of y'all, man. But, uh, yeah, so Charlie Clips, you know, I get what you're saying. Trust me, I get it. I get it. I get it. I see what you're saying. I hear you. But problem is, we got to see that. I got to see it to believe it. You got to make it happen. Because if you ain't just see Rosenberg Raw versus Jag, that recap, bar for bar breakdown is coming real soon. I actually, I actually was up 3 a.m. last night, uh, just like taking it back to the old school, 
writing down all of the bars to break them down. Showtime SP is the goat of the bar breakdowns. We know how he gives it up. But every now and then, I'm like, you know what? Let me see if I can, like, you know, because it takes a lot. You got to rewind the battle, write down this bar, write down that bar, write down that so, so, so. A lot of people do not appreciate, well, I mean, most of y'all do, you know what I'm saying? But people don't understand the amount of effort and work it takes to effectively break down a battle. You'll be watching it for, like, if you watch it and it's 45 minutes, to break it down, it's probably like two, three hours. Like, you literally have to stop and go, stop and go. So I just like, yo, you know, want to see if I can still shoot. So I did it. Uh, we'll put it out later on, and uh, I think it's going to be pretty dope. But uh, you didn't see the Rosenberg Roy that just battled Jack Charlie Clips. You're not beating that. If you're coming in with the shit that you've been doing recently, you're not beating that. You are not beating that. I'm sorry. Hey, blood, what kind of car you drive? The one with two fully loaded weapons safety off inside. He's going to duck. Play with him if you want. Play with Frozenberg Raw in that blue room if you want. Please do and see how it's gonna go. I seen Rosenberg, I was at I was at Rosenberg versus Bill. I was at Rosenberg versus Jag. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I could mess around and be in May 6th. So when y'all say the media blog would be scared, blog would be scared. Last time Rosenberg Raw battle, I asked him if he, if I saw him. I asked him if I was there. Matter of fact, in the Rosenberg versus Jag, you can actually hear me, because I um ARP had called us up there with a me three letter man salute to him and everything that he does and uh you can hear me when Jag finishes the second round I almost said when you start rapping like that but I started it but I stopped it it was kind of funny I heard it, I heard it on the audio and salute to both of those MCs and that's a dope battle but Charlie Clips uh you under the radar people are going to be watching yes there are a lot of people who are still high on you that people who feel like you're one of the goats I feel like you're one of the goats I remember there was a time I ain't gonna lie. I thought Charlie Clips was the most dangerous battle rap. I thought he was the best. I really did. Uh, over the years since then, he's remained, you know, doing his thing. But it's just always the if factor. You did exactly what Danny Meyer said. The if factor. Sue Surf had it. Then Twerk caught it. Then Chess got it. The what if. You, <laughs> you be killing him. But Charlie, Cre Charlie Clips was credit for showing up and doing the bare minimum. Showing up with three rounds is just the bare minimum, my nigga. Like, you can't be a good husband, you can't be a good boyfriend, you can't be a good partner if the only thing you're gonna do every day is come home. Like, the, oh, that's all I, I showed up, so that's enough. That does not, it takes more work, bro, it does. Um, I think that it's good to see him taking accountability for what, well, it's not really accountability because he got called out by so many people that it's to a point where, nigga, you can't, you're not dodging it. When it comes to battle rap and the battle rap bloggers and the media, like the uncompromised niggas who's going to call it like it is, you're not dodging the big names. Like, <laughs> you're not, you're not, you're not. The story's going to either hit one of the big channels. I'm going to talk about it. Angry fan going to talk about it. Piper Boy going to talk about it. Unbiased is going to talk about it. Uh, Gems, all of the niggas with these big players, they're going to talk about it. It's going to be very hard to navigate through, you know what I'm saying? I know they got the app. I know niggas is in the vault. I know, I know, I know, I know. But we still gonna talk about that too. I heard Beasley in the interview. The guys are talking about the people on the app more than they talking about the people on YouTube. Nigga, cause we make money off it. That's why. Y'all put the battles out, we gonna talk about them. Like I don't give a shit about nothing y'all niggas got going on. If you wanna put the battle on the app, that's cool. We gonna talk about it there. You wanna do pay-per-view, that's cool. We gonna talk about it there. I don't mind. Because the numbers that I do and people up here do, up here, like way up here, up here, up here, not looking down and dissing other bloggers and dissing niggas and dog. I don't talk about, I don't talk about bloggers in my blogs, because unless I'm talking positively about them. So with Charlie Clips, the bloggers are going to see it. They're going to hear it. They're going to talk about it. And you're going to end up in the algorithm. So while I do respect your video, like my nigga, you've been doing this shit for years, bro. Like you, it shouldn't take fans to say, yo, I ain't copping that pay-per-view. I don't even want to see this nigga. And I, and I seen in the trailer, uh, what did ARP say? Salute to ARP, you know what I'm saying? Um, said something about the, the Charlie clips that's been writing. The, and he showed clips of you versus math and like big moments where you had like big moments, which is cool. It's great. It's great to see. It's a great marketing thing. I'm not knocking it. But at the same time, it's like, my nigga, you need to show up now. Like, what are we doing here? Like, you can't just keep going from league to league battling big names and just like, oh, well, you know, they said I didn't write versus Danny. They said I didn't write versus Jack. Nigga, we ain't say nothing, nigga. We seen it. What the fuck you mean we said it? I'm not saying what I said. I'm saying what I saw. Like, I heard. Like, the hate ain't gonna look good on camera. Boo, 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 boo. Ain't don't tell me that. You 
they, we, we know you didn't write. It's clips, we know you, bro. We fuck with you. I do, you know I do. But I gotta call it like I call it so I can't spoil it. Who the fuck would I be? You want me to be comp? <laughs> you want me to, that's what you want? That's what you want? I don't wanna do that. Um, I'd rather call it like it is. Uh, salute to Rare Breed Entertainment for putting together Charlie Clips versus uh, Frozenberg. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of, you're gonna get people that's gonna feel the way, especially after the performance that he just had. But, uh, you know, I'm taking Clips' word for it. If he said he's gonna show up, if he said he's done retiring, freestyling and shit like that, we gotta hold this nigga to this standard because this is not the first time he's had an intervention or said some shit like this before. We have to hold him to the standard. See, that's the thing, you know what I'm saying? I said it yesterday. What is the use of getting on a plane, going through TSA, getting to another state, having to get a rental car, having to get a hotel, having to eat, having to get to the event, get back to the event, put gas in your car, and then turn the car and go back through TSA to go home, all to go to an event where you're not gonna be able to talk to niggas how you want, or you're not gonna be able to ask the questions how you want. Like, for all of that, you might as well stay home. Like, I just might as well stay home. The outside, I'll be outside, outside, nigga, that shit is not look. it's looking funny in the light, cause you niggas, yeah. But um, I did see, uh, you know, a lot of the responses and things like that that were going on as far as uh, you know the swole sweep seven thing and the whole ARP thing. And, I, and I'll leave it there. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just leave it like this. Uh, you guys, you gotta know. If you go to ARP, you know what I'm saying? He's a, he's in the middle of a war. They're going back and forth. They had niggas in, niggas in court and all type of shit. If y'all don't have an agreement out the gate that we're not talking about this offline, like this is just between us, then you shouldn't be saying it because he's that <laughs> is what it is. And with the MCs, you got to know. You got beef with Smack, I'm not going to call ARP. If I got beef with ARP, I'm not going to call Smack. There's a 5 billion people in the world. Find someone else to call. And Sway got to know how to read the room a little bit better. Do I think that they would have did that shit with Uncle Rod? No, because I seen an interview where Jay Mills was getting interviewed by uh, Hip Hop Is Real. Hip Knowledge, shout out to him and all that they do. Uh, and they was asking him about the Murder Mook battle. And Jay Mills was like, Murder Mook, I said, hell no, you shouldn't be taking that battle because whoop de whoop de whoop. They had a full conversation. Ain't nobody stopped them. Because the thing is, like, they look at Uncle Rod, they look at Sway Knowledge, you know what I'm saying? They look at y'all as big time media. You know what I'm saying? For Swave, he's way too old to be getting emotional about something that Noonan say. I'm still shocked, like, her? Like, <laughs> I'ma let y'all have that though. But, um, salute to Frozenberg. Uh, he had a phenomenal battle versus Jag. Like I said, the recap will be out. He's heading into a battle with Charlie Clips. We'll do a prediction, we'll do a breakdown, but I got uh, Frozenberg winning. Out the gate, I do, I do. Until I see different. I'm not playing this game with Charlie Clips or none of these other battle rappers. I don't care. If they ain't showing up, Bringing A get grade material, getting high level bars, nigga. I don't care. I'm gonna call it like I call it, and it's just gonna be what it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. And I don't need ten people with me. I don't need six people, five, eight, three. I don't need nobody with me to call my ideas and say them how I want. That's the beauty of independence. You know what I'm saying? Like when you join up and you get under the wing, and you know you you, you gotta get you get favors and all this other shit. You gotta move according to what they say. You can't say, nigga, that event was whack. Nigga, I don't want to see this nigga book no more. You can't say that. You know why you can't say? You're going to get that phone call. You're going to get that message. You're going to get that, that text where they're going to tell you what you can say versus what you can't. And it's okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, if that's what you do, like, nigga, ain't that wrong with that. But don't be mad when the fans say what they say, nigga. <laughs> that ain't me. I ain't saying nothing about you niggas. I don't even be watching these niggas. But salute to every single one of y'all. Uh, clips. 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 Ain't no way you're going to be able to come out here after that last performance and put up another brick because people gonna really be looking at you not like the bricks like the ARP you know what I'm saying the brick 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 salute to all them niggas too but you can't <laughs> that's just not gonna work man that shit they gonna look good on camera them freestyles I ain't you said the hate don't look camera good on camera I said them freestyles don't look good on camera my nigga how hard is it to write you got till May 6 bro you got a fucking month write some damn raps gone They say that I, you know, they say that I, <laughs> I didn't really write for Calico. I didn't really write for Danny Myers. And I didn't really write for Jazz the Rapper. <laughs> One day you will understand why. You must try to remember me and your true self as well. You will birth a God and build an eternal paradise.
I feel demise in my energy I know you motherfuckers wanna get rid of me I take a shot in my Hennessy As I say another prayer for my enemies I look at the bodies and see no regrets Cause my enemy still ain't put an enemy yet The bringer of death has risen so be cautious with steps Cause lo and behold, yes I am him in the flesh